an unfinished poem, which I'll finish sooner or later, but I'd like to read uh, the first half of now. America, I've given you all, and now I'm nothing. America, $2.27, January 17, 1956. America, I can't stand my own mind. America, when will we end the human war? Go fuck yourself with your atom bomb. I don't feel good. Don't bother me. I won't write my poem until I'm in my right mind. <laughs> when will you be angelic? When will you take off your clothes? When will you look at yourself in the, through the grave? When will you be worthy of your million Christ? America, why are your libraries full of tears? America, when will you send your eggs to India? <laughs> I'm sick of your insane demands. When will you reinvent the heart? When will you manufacture lambs? When will your cowboys reach Bangalore? When will your dams release the flood of eastern tears? When will your technicians get drunk and abolish money? When will you institute religions of perception in your legislature? When can I go into the supermarket and buy what I need with my good looks? <laughs> America, after all, it is you and I who are perfect, not the next world. Your machinery is too much for me. I don't want to work for a living. You make me want to be a saint. There must be some other way to sell this argument. I don't want to die young. I want to die old and unhappy. I don't mind dying so long as it's not sorted. Now, Burroughs is in Tangier. I don't think he'll come back and is sinister. Are you being sinister or is this some form of playing a practical joke? I'm trying to come to the point. I refuse to give up my obsession. America, stop pushing. I know what I'm doing. America, the plum blossoms are falling. America, I haven't read the newspapers for months. Every day somebody goes on trial for murder. America, I feel sentimental about the wobbly. <laughs> America, I used to be a communist when I was a kid. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I smoke marijuana every chance I get. <laughs> Only two dollars and twenty-seven cents. I don't want to work. Maybe it's for looking for the job. I can't study anymore. I'll never teach for a living. I sit in my house for days on end without going out. When I go to Chinatown, I get drunk and never get laid. My mind is made up. There's going to be trouble. You should see me reading Mark. The American flag is absolutely meaningless to me still just as it was in the 30s. I won't say the Lord's Prayer. I have mystical visions and cosmic vibrations. America, I still haven't told you what you did to Uncle Max after he came over from Russia. I'm addressing you. Are you going to let your emotional life be run by Time magazine? <laughs> I'm obsessed by Time magazine. <laughs> I read it every week. Its cover stares me at me every time I pass the corner of Northwest and Sutter Street and Montgomery Street. I read it in the basement of the Perk Creek Public Library. <laughs> Time magazine is always telling me about responsibility. <laughs> Businessmen are serious. Movie producers are serious. Everybody's serious but me. <laughs> it occurs to me that I am America. I am talking to myself again. <laughs> is rising against me. <laughs> I haven't got a Chinese chance. 
I had better consider all of my natural resources. <laughs> my natural resources consist of two sticks of marijuana, millions of genitals, an atom bomb, and 2,500 mental institutions. <laughs> I say nothing about my prisons or the millions of underprivileged who live in my flower pot. I have very few bordellos, and that's all there is. I have abolished my whorehouses in France, and Tangiers is the next to go. My ambition is to be president despite the fact that I'm a captain. <laughs> America, how can I write a holy litany in your telling me? I will continue like Henry Ford. My strokes are as individual as his automobiles. More so, they're all different sexes. <laughs> America, I will sell you strokes at 2,500 apiece, 500 down on your old stroke as trade-in, and the rest of your life is to pay. <laughs> America, free Tom Mooney. <laughs> America, save the Spanish loyalists. America, Sacco and Vanzetti must not die. <laughs> I am the Scottsboro boy. You are! America, when I was seven, my mother took me to a communist cell meeting. They sold us bupkis, a handful per ticket, a ticket cost a nickel, and the speeches were free. Everybody was angelic and sentimental about the workers. It was all so sincere, you have no idea what a good thing the party was in 1835. Scott Nearing. <laughs> Scott Nearing was a grand old man, a real mensch, Mother Bloor made me cry. I once saw a Browder plane. Everybody must have been a spy. <laughs> America, you don't really want to go to war. America, it's them bad Russians. Them Russians, them Russians, and them Russians. And them Russians. <laughs> the Russians are power mad. <laughs> But Russia wants to eat us alive. <laughs> she wants to take our cars from out our garage. <laughs> Her wants to take our factories. Her wants to corrupt our college girls. <laughs> Her wants to put us all in slave labor camps. Her wants to emaciate us like skeletons. Her wants Malenko or Dugannon or somebody to be our boy. Her wants to dictify us. Him big bureaucracy running our filling station. That's no good. Look, we're making the unlearn read. Ha! Him these niggers. Ho! Her niggas all work 16 hours a day. Help! <laughs> America, this is quite serious. America, this is the impression I get from reading the newspaper. America, is this a correct? <laughs> I'd better get right down to the job. It's true, I don't want to join the army and turn a lazy decision park practice on your side of the psychopathic anyway. <laughs> America, I am putting my queer shoulder to the wheel. 